Hello everybody, Multiman37, and this time I am in my office area, and I will now, since it's Saturday, I'm bringing you yet another Ranger talk. Um, so, this time I'm going to be doing episode 2 of Power Rangers Dino Charge. I'm not sure what I'll do next week, I might do Drive as like, um... If I were to do Drive and Ninja, I would have to bring in, like, the whole episodes so far, and then kind of go from there, but, uh, we'll just see. And, uh, but since there's not many episodes to go about for Power Rangers, which I wish they d would do up to 30 episodes without cutting in between like they used to, I mean, come on, Saban, you're better than this, like, come, let's bring it back to the old days, come on. Please. You can do better. Let's be honest with ourselves. Um, so yeah, I'm in my office right now. Uh, that, uh, tablet right here. This tablet right here does not belong to me. It belongs to my mom. And then I also have my Power Rangers Dino Charge Megazord and my Turbo Megazord here. This one I had customized. But because it definitely needed customization. And there's my mirror. Um, yeah, so, enough looking around my office. Let's actually get to the episode itself. So this is the episode where we actually see, or actually hear the narrator kind of explain, you know, the m main premises, like, in the last four uh, seasons that we had. Well, two seasons, because I'm not sure if you count the super seasons. Um... To, um, and what was really funny is the way he said pow they are Power Rangers Dino Charge. He sounded like the other two times he didn't really sound like he was that into it. Like he, he had, well, he had the monotone voice, but he didn't sound energetic about it. This time he did. Like he put a lot of energy into saying Power Rangers Dino Charge. Like. Like, a lot of energy. I can't mimic it, obviously. But he put a lot of energy into the intro. Which I do like. Uh, the energy that he put into it. I, I do like that. Um, so, with that intro out of the way, we get uh, this year's Green Ranger, finally, named Riley, who lives at a farm with his mom and his brother. And he has a dog named... Uh, Rubik? Rubik, I think? Yeah. And he's practicing his, uh, you know, swordsmanship in his barn, in the barn. Uh, but then he gets, you know, caught by his brother, uh, cause he's not doing his chores and whatnot, so. And, um, he's actually pretty, I liked how when he threw it to the wall, it, it kind of hit the, like, this little wheel dead center, so. So that that was pretty cool um on his part. But um yeah, and then of course after that he kind of, you know, I think he he, he complains a little bit um as he's going into the for uh as he's, you know, out and about. And then he go and then some like I'm trying to remember what happened. I watched the episode yesterday and yet I to relook at what happened and yet I can't remember it for the life of me. Um what happens next is, I don't know why I took out this dino charger, um, is, uh, Rubik, uh, goes off, I think, uh, on his own, and he's going after him, he's barking at this stone, and then you see Fury coming in, and getting ready to, uh, chop, getting ready to, like, freaking chop him up, but then Riley comes in with, like, this metal pole, and fends him off, and then... Uh, he drops his, uh, the raw, the shaft, into the stone, revealing the green energem. And then, uh, he goes back to get his sword, and then the sword transforms into, you know, the little blades that, you can see my Gabri caliber down there, I don't know. Yeah, it's right next to, um, yeah, it turns into that, basically. Um, so... So yeah, with that, he actually managed to beat back Fury on his own, and he took out the Energem after beating him, and then it bonded with him. 
So, yeah. Um, so after that whole fiasco, it's revealed that he's going to go to the Dinosaur Museum for the summer. So he's on his way. And then we go back to Tyler and Shelby from uh, last episode. And they're trying to figure out what why they want the Energems and whatnot. When they uh, run into Riley on a scooter that uh, his brother lent him as he's looking through the manual. They ask if they can help him. And after he says no, uh, this is actually kind of funny. Um, the tr A truck passes by and blows the manual away. So then he has to force... So he's forced to um, load his uh, thing in the back, his scooter in the back, and uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, load his scooter in the back and then uh, basically uh, go off uh, with Tyler and uh, Shelby. And he kind of says how um, you know he doesn't really like his life at the uh, at the farm, even though. Um, uh, Tyler thought thinks it could be cool, but, um, yeah. On their way, they also spot this man and woman who have just been in a car accident. The car's turned over, gas is leaking, and the husband is stuck underneath the car. So they're trying to pull them out. They can't make an effort because it's like a 500-pound vehicle. They cannot turn it over, but then... Out of nowhere, the Energems start glowing, and then they're actually able to lift the whole thing in the air as it blows up from, you know, the gas leaking or something like that. Um, so with that, it's revealed that they know that uh, Riley has this whole thing going on, too. You know, the whole uh, bringing into this whole Energem fiasco. And so, after a lot of confusion, they finally head back to the museum. Uh, they head over to the loading area where they see Chase and Coda heading over, but then they disappear out of nowhere. And then they find this giant T-Rex skull, and Shelby wants, uh, and Tyler wants Shelby, blah, to take a picture of him on the, um, on the skull when all of a sudden he twists a knob and actually there's a slide uh in the in the mouth of the t-rex and then when they went down it is revealed that it is actually a secret base which not even shelby knew about like she's worked there for a year she had no clue it was there not a clue yeah, pretty well hidden actually yeah it really was pretty well hidden you know so uh, they see two other Energems, the black and blue Energems, and the, uh, the red, pink, and green Energems are actually able to, uh, fit in the spaces just like those two. And then, all of a sudden, Keeper shows up, um, you know, at first they're startled, but, you know, he says, you know, I mean, you, no harm, all that good stuff, um... And so he explains that he entrusted these Energems into dinosaurs, but ever since they went extinct, their powers were lost until they were found by them. And then we see Tyle, we see Chase, Coda, and uh, Kendall, aka Miss Morgan. I forgot her name last time, but now I remember it was Kendall. Um, so, yeah. So it explains that they knew all about this and whatnot, and they're not allowed to tell anybody. Um, of course. But what happens next is Miss Morgan explains how they were all chosen by the Energems. However, when she goes up to Shelby, she's got nothing to say. I mean, maybe Keeper has a, uh, has a good idea why the Energem chose Shelby, but no, not uh, not Miss Morgan. Like she has zero respect for her. Like, come on, she's been working there for a year. Like, how have you at least not shown a little bit of respect for her? Like, seriously. I know she's clumsy sometimes, but come on, she doesn't deserve that. <laughs> I mean, that was so mean, too. So, yeah. Um. 
So the monster, so the monster shows up. Uh, the monster that wanted the energy gem last time, the ice monster, shows up and he's you know attacking and whatnot. Well, actually, first, uh, first, what happens is um, the others have to go check out an active volcano. Um, but the one who can't leave is Tyler because he cannot call the energy gem with him because the others reach out and they get the energy gems. The uh, him, he's having trouble. So as the so as they see the volcano erupts, the Tyrannosaurus shows up. And then um, Keeper explains how they are both connected by the T-Rex, you know, spirit itself and whatnot. And so the ice monster then comes back to cause some trouble. And then you have, like, these giant Vivix stacking up on each other. The You know, they're mutated and whatnot. And then uh, he's trying to beat them back, but he can't. So then Tyler shows up to help out uh, the T-Rex Zord, a.k.a. Rexy, as he likes to call him. It's kind of a cute name, I guess, Rexy. <laughs> but, um, he uses the Energem to break him free of the ice, and then he, uh, they were giving these dino chargers that can harness the power, these little babies harness the power of, uh, the Energems. So what happens is, you know, he activates, the, uh, the dino charger, and he transforms into the Red Ranger once more. And then he gives another Dino Charger to the T-Rex Zord for it to go into battle mode and fight back the monsters. And then, if that wasn't crazy enough, as he's fighting, the others show up and morph as well. Even though Shelby kind of had a little mishap trying to figure out how to work the damn Charger. Because she needed to click the thing. Um, excuse me. Oh, yeah, yeah, gassy today. Um, so... You know, you got this epic fight going on, and then um, the Tyler, Tyler and the T Rex Zord, um, you know, they finish off the monster themselves, and then, you know, all goes well from there. So they go back to the base, and now they have a mission to retrieve the Energy Gems, and now it's revealed since they thought that no other monsters were there except for Fury. That monster was one of Sledge's monsters, which they had no idea who Sledge was. But now he's revealed, and apparently he has returned. And meanwhile, on the ship, you know, Fury comes back, and Sledge is not happy that he hasn't gotten a single energy gem while he was there. I think that was, might have been the next episode. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the episode in a nutshell. Now, what did I think of this episode? It was actually a pretty good Kickstarter to the uh, whole, you know, Dino Charge story. Uh, you know, it's a pretty good, uh, start, you know, good way to start things up. It, it held up. It did have, you know, one or two weird things happen here or there, but really, what can you do? I mean, I can't think of them off the top of my head, because, you know, I was focusing more on, uh, storyline and whatnot, so that I can actually come back here and explain it, so, yeah. So tell me what you guys thought of this episode in the comments below. And, you know, be sure to subscribe to for more. I'll see you guys later. Take care.